And so this is a completely normal behavior when you first put a puppy down in a strange environment, mm -hmm. and sometimes even in a, a comfortable environment. And a in a comfortable environment, they'll, you know, kind of all Bounce, of a sudden say, yeah. oh, okay. But in a strange environment, you'll get that, you know, frozen, yeah. kind of tail tucked, looking around, not really sure. <laughs> yeah, it's the kind of creeping. I'm not sure if the floor is going to fall out from under me. And no baby dog. And no baby dog. What do you think? I know. Hi, are you making yourself very small? Are you making yourself very small? Yes, hello. Hello. How are you? there's that conflicted behavior, right? You know, tail wagging, but mm -hmm. kind of backing up, not real sure. Hello. Hi. Hi. Like, yeah, I'm curious, but I yeah. just don't know this place. Yeah. Good girl. Oh, very good. Very good. Look at you. Did a brave dog. Did a brave dog. Yeah. Such a brave puppy. <laughs> she said, I'm going to go under there so I'm, I'm protected as I move around. From now on, everyone is a okay. girl. Good girl. That's very good. Very good. Let me get over here. Uh. Oh, that tail's starting to go mm -hmm. up. Going to explore. Like, I want to. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. 
Oh, very good. Very good. Come on, let's go down here. Wanna go down here? That's it. Good girl. She says, I will kind of follow along the way over there. Very good. Let's go back this way. Come on. Good girl. What a good puppy. Oh, there you go. Good girl. Come on, let's go down here. There you go. That's it. That's a good girl. What a good puppy. Yay. Yay. Good puppy. Good puppy. Good girl. Come on, let's go this way. That's it. Good. All right. Good girl. <laughs> And that's why you do it with a stranger, so yep. <laughs> they they show you what they are. Because I'm sure if you sat on the floor with them, or if she knew you, she would be, um, yeah, she would be perfectly right. Good girl. Good girl. And it doesn't mean that they haven't been socialized. It's just no, no. It's you know this is all very new, and again, you know you're talking about puppies who are seven and a half weeks, mm -hmm. so have really only been able to see and hear for five weeks, five yeah. and a half weeks, right? And so, um, you know, new things are certainly things, you know, if, if, if you were kind of like uh, the, the, the bigger, bolder puppy, mm -hmm. um, you know, those are puppies that like in the wild probably would die soon because mm -hmm. nothing scares them. They're mm -hmm. not, you know, they're not worried about anything, yeah. right? You know, everything is yeah. something to be run yeah. up to and played with mm -hmm. and checked out. Um, so, you know, from a functionality standpoint, being a, a little bit wary of uh, new things mm -hmm. is not a bad thing. But what we want is that, you know, within a few minutes, if nothing bad's mm -hmm. gonna happen, they can say, Okay, you know, yeah. I, can, I can do this. Good girl. Very good. Yeah. Because it's how they behave here and how they're behaving at home or they go to work with me mm -hmm. is completely different. Sure. Because things. that's something they've been doing mm -hmm. since they were born. Yeah. Or since, you know, since they've been mm -hmm. able to go, right? Mm -hmm. They're, yeah. um, you know, it, it's, it's all known quantity and, mm -hmm. and comfortable. Good girl. That's a very good girl. Yeah, good, I know, good, yeah. Good. So is socializing them up to this point, does it help them? Sure. I mean, the, the more good experiences they can have with new things, the better. Mm -hmm. And socialization, you know, really is all about good exposure. Mm -hmm. Nothing, you know, yes, some things will be scary, but if they're scary, you want to kind of remove the puppy kind mm -hmm. of ASAP, you know, give them space, give mm -hmm. them distance. Um, good girl. Yeah. Very good. Good girl. Look at you. Look at you, brave puppy. Hey, puppy. Yeah. I'll pick you up and hold you. There we go. I gotcha. Yeah, I gotcha. Is there, um, like, do you see differences in different breeds on how they um, show up on testing, or is it? You know, most of them is, is kind of, you know, what we've seen is that you're going to have, you know, one or two puppies, sometimes a few more depending on the genetics that mm -hmm. are, you know, bolder than bold, mm -hmm. and then there's always, you know, a couple that are more on the softer side. Mm -hmm. um, good. Good. Um, I really, with the breeders that I've worked with and, and tested, um, I really haven't found any puppies that were, you know, on that minus scale to the, the point of really not being functional. Mm -hmm. um, you know, some of them certainly would take a little more. I'm going to turn you on your back. There we go. Good girl. Good. You see the kind of bracing. Yeah. Um, and the head turning away, right? Mm -hmm. um, the, 
was a curiosity, you know, she was yeah. looking at me, yes. kind of thinking mm -hmm. she might lick my face. Now it's not scary anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now she wants to, she wants love. Good girl. <gasps> good girl, look at you. Oh, that's such a good puppy. Yay, can I have that? Can I have that toy? Ah, here we go. Good girl. Good job. So what does exactly their engagement with toys measure and show um, them? It is kind of, you know, the ability to relax and have fun in a stressful situation. Okay. All right. right. So it's a, it's a good thing, even though she would show that kind of shyness in the beginning where right. she was yeah, not that sure. Once she warmed up, she could, she can play a little bit. Okay. And also, you know, that idea of curiosity in in a new situation. Mm -hmm. Good girl. Did we get distracted? This is my favorite toy for small dogs, mm -hmm. especially small puppies. Okay. All right. Oh, somebody needs to go pee pee. Oh, here we go. 